Hi guys, I am so excited today. Okay, I finally got my Case to Five phone case. It's a collaboration with the British Museum for my clear denial contract. Um, so, I'm so excited to open this. British Museum did a whole incredible series of phone cases and I got one for my iPhone 13 Pro Max. I'm so excited. I've been waiting forever to get this and they had so many good ones but I picked the one because um, I think that one of the best parts about living in this era, decade, um, time is maybe that it's sort of like exactly like ancient Egyptian times and um, we sit here all day writing on internet walls <laughs> with um, emojis in the way of hieroglyphics and things like that and so not much has changed between ancient Egyptian times and now we still write on walls and worship cats <laughs> okay so um, I got, I know there were so many good ones and I know I should have picked the flower of life one and everyone would have expected me to, but of course I got the one with hieroglyphics on it. And so today I'm going to unwrap it and then I, I am going to go back and get the other accessories that go with it. There's like a phone travel lanyard thing that I wanted to go back and get and some other things. Um, there's a tablet case, but it only fit my grandmother's tablet and not mine because I have a Jeffrey Bezos Kindle Fire and they don't make it for that. So I was looking at the other things I can get for my Pro Max and, um, all right, hang on. Also, how do you like my first place winner lipstick? Danny Filth picked it up for me in the year 1988. <laughs> it was 1994? Okay, it was the early 90s then. All right, so check this out. Okay. It's gorgeous. Okay. The British Museum case to five. I'm going to use this in my Cleo Denial dollhouse. It would have made a good headboard for a bed. It would have made a good wall decoration. It would make a really great art piece, said um, Donatello Versace. <laughs> okay. I'm so excited. Yep. They sent me the right one. iPhone 13 Pro Max. All right, we're going to put it on my phone and I'm gonna to have to scrape off my old coach phone case. Thank you, Danny Phil, for the new lipstick. This case was made for me. We were made for each other. I'm never going to have another phone case for the rest of my life. I already heard. Ooh. It's coming to Egypt with me. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, give me one second. Next, I've got to try not to pause my video while I scrape off the old phone case. And then I did grab a mirror so that I can maybe do this in the mirror. All right, so watch this. Okay, I only wanted to know if I could do this in a mirror or not. I'm taking my old, my old coach phone case off of this thing, but it's been here forever. Wicked stuck. All right, hang on, hang on. I need assistance. 
Oh shoot, that was stuck. Okay, hang on. Just um, don't break the phone. You got it. I think you got it. Oh, All right, wait, we almost have it this time. iPhone 13 Pro Max. It's um, a little bit sticky on the side from how much I play Mario Kart and do other things. <laughs> All right, so um, I actually have to clean my phone. The sides are sticky real quick. I'm not exactly... All right, hang on. I got to clean this for one sec. All right. All right, take that. One really awesome new phone case. If my aesthetic wasn't ancient Egyptian enough, I found the perfect phone case. Okay, so hang on. How are you? I'm fitting. Alright, angle this down a little bit. I'm going to try to take a picture of you. You're fitting. Testify for doing British Museum phone cases that go with my clear denial aesthetic. And well, if I wasn't ancient Egyptian enough, um, they made the perfect phone cases. I love it. I am so thankful. Okay, um, I'll show you guys and splice in some of the other advertisements from them that I have because all of their phone cases are really great. I think. Um, I don't think I could have picked a better one, but they have a bunch of really amazing ones. And I'm so excited to take it to Europe and Egypt with me. I'm so excited. That's exactly what I got it for. Okay. Um, I will talk to you all later. And if you liked my video and you like me, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Take two. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to say thank you to Casetify for doing British Museum phone cases for my iPhone 13 Pro Max and I am so still happy with my iPhone 13 Pro Max because I got the one terabyte one. It is the perfect, perfect Nintendo gaming machine for me. Um, and now I have the absolute most perfect phone case. For it, it goes with my ancient Egyptian clear denial lifestyle aesthetic, and I am never going to replace it except for maybe some swap them out for the other ones that they have. Um, the flower life one was the other favorite of mine, but I like the hieroglyphic one best. Um, anyways, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Casetify. It goes perfectly with my gold iPhone 13 Pro Max. It does. <laughs> I also have to start cooking dinner. It's getting really late, but I had to shoot this video because it was just getting dark and I just woke up and 
In the winter, I sleep until 4 p.m. because I um, video games so hard, play Nintendo and other things. Anyways, um, I wake up around 4 p.m. in the winter, and then that leaves me enough time to wake up, have a cup of coffee, digest a little bit, um, cook dinner around 7, and then I have the night with my project managers and playing Nintendo and everything. So, we're going to have to cook dinner. Thank you, British Museum. We're going to put this in the dollhouse. And thank you, Monster High, for making a new generation of Cleo Denial dolls. <laughs> in a world where we don't all want to be Barbie anymore since they made Barbie so fat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I adopted Fat Free Lifestyle and I adopted um, Twiggy and 1960s twiggy 60s into my lifestyle and now it's going hard for me to relate to barbie and they released new generation of monster high which always matched my aesthetic as clear denial and i wanted to say thank you so much to monster high i wanted to say thank you to case defy for doing british museum phone cases to help us i wanted to say thank you to nintendo thank you to michael ford for organizing Thank you to Super Chic for paying for our contract. You're not going to let me post that, are you? It says blank. Okay, wait, cut, cut, cut. Francis Ford Coppola says you should cut it right here. You screwed it up. <laughs> no, wait, you tell her I'm happy to pay for her contract when they're not committing damages. That's all I wanted said. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> I wanted to say thank you all to, um, for helping me, for being a part of my life, for supporting me, for supporting my companies. Um, wanted to say thank you eternally for Paris Hilton, for showing me how to live as a Barbie, even if I couldn't be a pink Barbie anymore because I was so weird and freaky. And um, thank you to Monster High for making me freaky Nephilim Barbies. And I'm going to spend the rest of my life as clear as I am. <laughs> and thank you for Paris Hilton for showing me how. And um, thank you for everyone's help with Allie. And thank you <laughs> for organizing, helping me get my name changed, passport documents in order. And, um, well, thank you to Prince Fozzy for all his help, and I am so excited to see you again. And thank you, um, oh yeah. <laughs> thank you guys for your help on my contract. <laughs> Um, Super Chic says he'll work on helping me get my teeth fixed when I get to the Middle East because my American project managers have so many problems in America. And thank you to Ariana Grande's team with Scooter Braun for helping me get my teeth worked on a little bit, which they did. Um, <laughs> and I'm excited to pet lions. And, um, they appreciate me being a Nana every day of my life. And I can't wait to see you all again. I miss my family over there. And I'm excited to go over there and see them. Usually they come over here and see me. Um, this time I'm going to go over there and see them. And thank you guys to organizing that. And thank you guys for supporting my whole journey. Um... Thank you to Alan Greenfield for being the best project manager in all of history and making me such, so happy <laughs> and the perfect Dinana. And since he had been working on my contract from before I was born, I'll never be anything but myself as Dinana. And, um, well, <laughs>
He says, you only have one problem, Casey. Uh, first of all, they made us call you Casey for most of your life. The rest of your family accepts you as Anana, and, um, well, we prefer to call you Samyaza. And whereas you are dominantly Anana, we did make you to be Samyaza. And these things are not separate, but I have a hard time when you put yourself forward feminine Anana, they don't always um, he goes, tell her I know she likes to be addressed as Samyaza, but she's generally accepted as I know. And we're really thankful for all the help that we had on her. And yes, I have been working on a contract since before she was born. Um, I wanted to see her for Thanksgiving but they're not exactly letting me organize that right now. And um, sometimes when you have a minute, I like to tell everyone when we're having a problem. Her project managers are still holding her money hostage and they haven't given it to her and they haven't sent her her Bulgari. She has assets that they're not giving her. And um, no. The person you have in there is a project manager. I'm not going to call you a project manager because he's still holding your assets hostage from you. However, with the sheik here, they're more inclined to cooperate. But they haven't given her her money. But that's not his fault. Anyways. They have a problem between who they think is a project manager of her house versus who she thinks is a project manager in the world. Whereas I have been working on her contract since before she was born. I would give her her assets if I were in charge of them. Clearly I'm not, said so Elmer. <sighs> Michael, if you take the note back from me one more time, I'm going to tell you. <sighs> cut, 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 cut. <laughs> Let me guess, you want to cut up the whole thing. <sighs> Anyways. Michael said he will help get her passport filed. But he's clearly not in charge of her assets or he would have given them to her too. Let's just be honest, where is everybody knows the story of our Sanyaza? And they all support her. And you've had her operating on a clone of YouTube as her project manager since the year 2014, when she started doing YouTube in 2012. I want you to know something about Sanyaza's clone of YouTube. Her clone of YouTube has said 7,000 subscribers since 2014. They're so in control of her lawsuit contract, they won't let through your comments. If you're donating her money, they don't give it to her. Um, they're completely holding hostage her communication. All right, I can't actually post what you just said. Now I'm gonna have to cut, 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 cut that. Okay, ditch this video. After a brief argument between my project managers about who's in control of my finances. <laughs> Hang on one second. Thank you to my project managers for organizing. Thank you to the British Museum for collaborating with Case Defy. Thank you for my wonderful phone case. Thank you, Monster High. Thank you, Nintendo, for a really great week this week. I had a great week, finished first, and 
I want to say I'm not that far away from a top 1000 trophy, but I can see how much I have to go. And um, <laughs> I'm so excited to finish out this contract. Thank you for working together to make my contract happen. And thank you so much, Nintendo. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys, and I'm going to wrap it up. 